Hi, and welcome back to the Washington County Public Schools video repository on Facebook. Today we are going to talk about posting to your page. Just as a reminder, we have created a group for our classroom. Uh, that is what Facebook recommends. Uh, it does allow for some more private settings than a regular Facebook page does. So let's get started by adding a post. As you can see, when you're ready to write a post, you can literally just type in an update. So let's put, hope everyone had a chance to join the WCPS Twitter chat tonight. Okay, when you're ready to post it, you can simply post it as is, or you can add a video or a photo. You could create a poll in here, and then you have a button that says more. You can sell something or add a file. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. If I want to post it as is, all I have to do is simply click the post button and it will update. Anyone who has joined this group will get this update on their live feed. Okay, let's talk about other things you can add. So in addition to writing a post, you can add a video or a photo. So I'm going to click on add video photo and I'm going to upload one or I could also create an album if I had several pictures that were relevant to one subject. I don't tonight so I'm going to click upload photo or video. It's going to take me to my computer and I think I'm going to add a lino picture. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that and as it's uploading I'm going to put Use Lino for PD Today at Lincolnshire, L-N-E, success. Okay, from here, if I wanted to tag some people in it, I could, and I think I actually do. Um, Danielle Dwinnells was really, really active in the PD Today, had it all set up. It was a CFIT meeting, so we did use her... Um, account to create this. So I am going to click on there and I'm going to add her name. And there she is. So I'm going to save that. And what's going to happen now is that on Danielle's account she's going to get a note that I tagged her in something. So post and then off we go. If you wanted to create a poll you could. So if I wanted to poll people to uh, let's see, just to ask something simple like, do you use Google Classroom on a regular basis? So I'm going to hit create poll. <coughs> I'm going to pull options. My first option is yes. And my second option is no. And that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and post that. This is very much like a Twitter poll. So if somebody were to come to our page, they could check either yes or no at this point. Okay. Notice that you do have a more button. You could sell something. I wouldn't recommend that on a page used for your classroom. But you could also add a file. So if I wanted to add a file, let me simply click on that. And you can choose a file from your Dropbox or from your computer. So I'm going to choose a file from my computer, and since I get a request for the blank wallpaper page often, I'm going to go ahead and upload that. So I'm going to click on WCPS wallpaper and open. And then when I am done putting in my information, I might want to add, please use me. And click post, it is going to add this information to our page. So we'll be patient for just a second and let it upload. So now you can see you can either download the wallpaper, you can preview it. And again, I'm running wirelessly, so please be patient as it does this. There's the blank wallpaper. And then they can decide whether they want to um, go ahead and add it or not. Now, if you change your mind on a post and you decide you do not want it out there any anymore, 
<coughs> the easiest way to delete a post is to find the post, come over to the drop down arrow that will be in the upper right hand corner and click on it and simply click delete post. You can also edit the post, so if you found a, spell, a word that you misspelled, please go ahead and edit that and correct it. You can pin a post, which means it's going to stay on this page. I can turn off commenting, which means that no one, can, no one else can make a comment on it. Or again, I can turn off notifications so that my email and my notifications don't fill up just to let me know somebody has responded. I can also save the post. So just to show you, I'm going to delete it. And it is again gone from here. Okay, so that is how you add a post. That is how you, well, let's go through editing one more time. Let's say I want to edit this post. I click the down arrow. <coughs> Actually, I cannot edit this post. I forgot, so forgive me on that one. Um, if you add a picture, you can't edit it. You can delete it and then re-add the picture or the file, but you can't um, edit it. So let me come back down to one that I can edit. And click on Edit Post. And this way you can just come in here and change whatever you need to uh, change. So I'll just change that to a lowercase v and a lowercase r. I'm done editing. <coughs> and then it will repost with your changes on it. Okay, now uh, those are pretty much the basics to adding, editing, and deleting a post. I hope you'll give this a try tonight. If you have any questions, be sure to ask your instructional technology specialist. Thanks for joining us tonight.